I need to make a schematic symbol for this buck boost controller. So first, let's look at the data sheet for it. And I can see my symbol, what, or I need to know what my pins are going to look like, which uh, I can see right here it's uh, a PDIP package or parallel dual inline. So just saying the pins are parallel and in lines. Um, and I can also see my symbol or what what uh, abbreviations I'm going to name the pins here. So this should be all the information I need uh, to make the symbol. So now going to KiCad, um, I'm in the part library editor, which you can get to from the main screen by clicking here, the schematic, the schematic library editor. And um, I need to make a new part. So I'm going to click this right here, create new component. And we are going to copy the name from my database here. And we're going to paste it back. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to move this text out of the way for right now. So I'm just scrolling over it and pressing the M key. And now I need to add some pins. I do that over here by this Add Pins to Component button. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to just number the pins for right now. And I want to rotate it so this connection point is to the left. And I'm going to place this here. And then I'm going to place the next one here. And so all I did was click because I was already in that tool. And I'm going to name it. We'll get, we'll get to adding the abbreviations later. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add all of them. All right, now I need to rotate. So I'm just going to change my orientation here when I have my pen to left orientation. I'm going to call this pin number is 5. And now I'm going to keep going. Pin number 6. Pin number 7. And last but not least, pin number 8. Now I can go ahead and assign names to all these, which I can get from here, or, well, from the data sheet here. SWC, SWE, and TC. Let me make sure I got that right. SWC, yep. SWE. TC. This last one was ground. Now let's look at the other side. DRC, IPK, and VCC. So uh, I'm scrolling over these and press, pressing um, edit in order to get into it, or into the pin properties. VCC, and the last one is CII. All right, we're almost there. All I need to do for the symbol is I need to add a box around it. So I click there, and oops, I uh, misclicked there. I need to, don't click and drag, I just need to click my first point and then let go of the mouse and drag down and make the second point. Now I'm going to move some of my uh, labels here. I'm going to move this to the center and I'm going to move this to the top. However, I don't really like where this is at. I want to move I want to move all of this so it's with this blue origin here or my axes. So I'm going to Move it right there, and I can't have it centered because it's not completely. Uh, it's it's I kind of have a round off air here, and now all I need to do is I need to edit 
my, well, I'm just going to delete my rectangle here and make it a little wider. So I'm going to delete it. I'm just going to click my rectangle tool and I'm going to make one more. And there we go. Now we're nice and centered and everything looks good and happy. Now I need to add the part information. So to do that, this is the information you're going to find uh, when you're looking through your library to find your part. And so here, I'm just going to copy that information. I've already got it decided. And this is UPL 5.009, so we need to remember that. And we also want all this information in the keywords, so it's easy to, easy to find. I, I removed commas because we don't really need those in there. It's it's the keywords are uh, specified by spaces. That's what their delimiter is. And now the last thing we need to do is we need to add in some information for our uh, for our part. So we need a footprint, which is is a p uh, as I said before is a pdip eight. So I need to assign footprint and. Now I need to go to my library, which is right here, and right here, dip 8, this is what the footprint looks like for this part. So I'm just going to double click, and I should see it in the field value there. I'm also going to turn off visibility because we don't want this cluttering up the symbol. And now I want to add the data sheet, which I have here. I'm just going to right click, copy link location, and then I'm going to paste. And I'm going to also turn off visibility for that. This I want to be the part number, which I can once again just skip from here. I'm going to control C that. I'm going to paste that and turn off visibility. And then I need the UPL number. Oops, that's in the wrong spot. The UPL number is 5.009. All right, and oops, I forgot to turn off the visibility of the part number there. There we are. So now we have all this gray text. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it so it's, if we decide to make it visible, it's in a spot that makes sense. So I'm, for example, I'm going to take the footprint and I'm going to set it right there. And I'm going to make the text a little bit smaller so it doesn't take up so much room on the screen. So I'm going to change it to 0.75. And then I'm going to take uh, the UPL number, which is right here. So I need to click this field. And I'm going to move it right there. Press E while scrolling over it and change it to 0.75. Going to move the, the data sheet up here. I'm going to change this to 0.75. And lastly, we're going to move the part number up here, change this value to 0.75. And there we go, we have a complete symbol for this Buck Boost converter. So all I have to do now is save it. And that's all we need to do.